Hello everybody, Father Bill here, and I'm on vacation. And I'm actually pre-recording this on my first day of my vacation, even though you're seeing this later. Hopefully by the time this is published, I've had a great time and relaxing. However, <laughs> where I'm going after this, after Clear Lake, is going to be rather hot. The latest forecast in Redmond, where I'm going next, is 106 degrees. And then another day, I think it's Thursday, it'll be 108. Yikes. By the way, if you're not sure where Clear Lake is, you maybe, maybe you do know, but here's a hint. There you go, there's the hint. There's Mount Hood. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mount Hood. Now, when I was in Southern Oregon, we had a beautiful mountain, and it was Mount McLaughlin. And uh, Mount Hood is much bigger on that range. This is part of the Cascade Range of Mountains. Mount Hood, and then you have Mount Rainier. It's even bigger, but it's just beautiful. So right now it's about mm, 10, 10.30. I, I normally get up at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, today I woke up at seven, which tells me I must be on vacation because I just didn't need to get up. Didn't feel a need, wasn't even really awake to do so. So that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Going on vacation is an important part of our spiritual life to be recreating or recreating being recreated. And that can be done through activities with family. It can be finding some peaceful time alone in this case. That's me today, at least for part of the day. I was up, I got here yesterday on Sunday after Mass. And I um, was able to put the kayak in the water. It's interesting because you can see the shore behind me. The folks that are here, they're just chit chatting and kids running around. It's amazing how the sound bounces off the water. I could hear them, but right now, there's very little sound. Most people are not up and running around. I'm in my kayak, here you can see my kayak. There's the uh, kayak. In my history of kayaking, I only do lakes, generally speaking. Uh, if it's a river, it's a very slow moving river, like the Silkus. But um, I'd often bring my dog. I've had several dogs and they all seem to, deal well with the kayak situation. I put a towel on the front of the kayak. Here's the here's the front there. The kayak. I'll put it right there. There's straps on the kayak. And they just chill out, they sit, they sleep, they lay down, and on occasion they fall right in. I even have a life preserver for the dog. And it's funny because it has a handle on it. I can just grab them and and they're really getting hot. I just dip them in the water and dip them out of the water. <laughs> they don't like that. I don't know why. Maybe it's not on their deal. They're not the dogs I have. Typically, have not been water dogs. In fact, my dog Benny, who was a Bashan poodle, when the first time that uh, he hit water, I was with Father Don Gutman. We were at the cabin of the Gutmans on Mercer Lake, and uh, the dog slipped off my kayak, and he just started sinking. He didn't try to paddle. He just kind of looked up. As he starts to sink, I'm like, oh my gosh. Father Don grabs him and pulls him up. And then I have to try to kind of teach the dog. So hold him over the water and yeah, not a strong swimmer. So I ended up getting that uh, that vest for the dogs that would follow, or at least the, the dog that would follow Benny, which would have been Ezra. That was the last dog I had. People ask me if I can get another dog. Of course I will probably, that's a plan, but not for a while. I need to get my feet situated uh, at Holy Trinity more. I'm still brand new, still trying to figure out which way and what we're doing. And I'm so grateful for Deacon Brett, the staff, the Holy Trinity, and you, uh, the parishioners, for your, your welcome, your kindness, your banter, your humor. And you notice I love to kid around. And, uh, and it's always just harmless. If I try not to be totally aloof because I'm actually quite serious. Being out here allows me to to also pray and reconnect with God. Last night when I was here, I offered my prayers on the lake. And I did, you know, paddling, but I, I did a lot of just floating. And that's what I'm doing right now, I'm just floating. Look at, there's not a ripple anywhere, practically. In fact, there is a ripple. It's likely because of the ducks. Even the ripples I made from my kayak have subsided. I was here last night as the uh, evening and the sun was starting to set. And I can see some fish jumping. I don't know if there's fish here. This is quite a clear lake. 
um, especially when you get closer to the shore. I think it still is rivaled by Waldo Lake, which is, I think, the clearest uh, volcanic lake next to Crater Lake, uh, and uh, at least in our state. And it's beautiful. I just love to be here. I had to put on my suntan lotion before I got out here this morning. And again, it's around, I don't know, maybe 1030 at this point. And I had my watch on, took that off as well. You know, that's part of it's part of uh, vacationing, right? It's not being tied down to a schedule or time. In my case, I'll be meeting up with my sister today, later in Redmond. And she has a little teardrop trailer and I have a little box trailer. We'll be staying there for the week. And venturing out to wherever. We haven't even made plans where that will be. From there, we will then head over to Prineville, where there's, for both of us, um, some nostalgia. That's where we used to go camping as kids. And it's nice to go there to see. Fortunately, the water is down to the 30% level, and I'm not even sure I'll be able to get the kayak in. It's This lake is full, for sure. But Prineville is nothing like that. It's a major reservoir in the area. It gets drained, and then, of course, didn't get a lot of water this year. And of course, that's because of the the drought. But um, here it is beautiful. It's quiet. Do you hear anything? You can hear the birds. And on occasion you can hear some of the people on the shore, but again, like I said, they're just starting to get up. Vacation is a time to be recreated. Time to recreate. If you've not gone on a vacation yet, I really encourage you. It's a part of our spiritual well-being. Our holistic health, you know, not just exercise, not just eating well, those are all important, but also finding time to get out of the norm. Maybe you're in a rut. To do what you can to get out and see the sights. Oh, they're so, at least here. We at, in the Portland area, we have a immense, immense uh, opportunity and to be able to hit the road pretty simply and get to some mountains, either whether it's east as I'm going or west to the coast. Hmm? Yep, it's wonderful. So many places to go. So I encourage you to, when you do, please go on vacation and take God with you. Keep praying before you go somewhere. And when you do see things like the awesome beauty, I don't know, Mount Hood or wherever it is, you too you would give thanks and praise for the immense beauty that God has created in the surroundings nature and most importantly you and me God's creation and ultimately with thanks to God for his immense love no matter what's going on being recreated helps calm us focus us and remind us that God loves us. We're never alone. Even though I'm in the middle of this lake, and I appear to be the only one here. I can hear some dogs waking up, barking. For the most part, put it this way, we're, God is always with us. And I know that for me, if I feel alone, it's because I just feel alone. I'm never alone. Even in this space where there's very few people, God is with me, and he's with you, wherever you go. So take God with you on your vacation. You, I believe, I know I do, appreciate the time away when I'm with him, when I remember that God is the creator of all these things. It gives me an outlet to give thanks for and praise for all that he has done. We are in the Psalms. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Some places like here, the stars are immense. It's just super bright because of the dark sky. I hope you have a chance to go on vacation. And I hope you take God with you. May God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>